Hello everybody, welcome to Prison Simulator, and we're going to play on normal, the way Prison Simulator is intended to play, well balanced, blah blah blah. Game tip, buying additional... Oh. S okay, well my computer loads very quickly, we're not going to be able to read the tips. Um, we're going to call this Daddy's Daycare. Welcome to the Prison Creator, Prisoner Creator, here you can choose the appearance of your convicts. Uh, customize first last name, change their voice. Alright, that's everybody. Robert Pretzel is this guy's name. In the gang creator you choose, who joins one of three gangs. Choose a symbol for each gang. Uh, add prisoners to each gang. Yeah, we got the Dark Souls fans, Hail Hydra, and uh, Weird Handcuffs. Should have just kept it. Should have should have played it off like I was doing it on purpose. After the riot, assign health to the bleeding, avoid your casualties. The slightly injured can wait. The dead won't care what you decide. Okay, well I thought I was gonna load faster, so I sped read that. After the riot, assign help first to those who are bleeding to avoid additional ca- We got like a cool montage. Did I say montage weird? Montage. What was that guy fiddling with his belly button? <laughs> that guy looks like he never ran a day in his life. He's so out of breath, he's not even putting out the fire. What hand motion did she just make? Did he have memes in his locker? Prison Simulator. Welcome to the Prison Simulator. To follow updates or report bugs, please join us on Discord. Your main task is to carry out the routines assigned to you for the day. Check their list in the journal, J, during the day react to the prisoner's bad behavior, either by talking to them or by using force. And between routines, you can use your free time to enjoy the fun of it. Most of your actions are evaluated by other guards and prisoners, which affects your level of respect. The overall level of respect, bottom left corner of the screen, is the average of your individual relationship ooh, with, visit with uh, prisoners during your free time. You can relax by playing mini games, doing side quests, or reacting to in-game events. Like put a little... S oh shoot, that was... Maybe I changed the DPI on my mouse just a little, little bit. Okay. Yeah, I just get like a little camera down here so I can react to all the events. What do you want, Mr. Duncan? Oh, you must be the new guy. I'm Kenneth, your new warden. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? Nervous, huh? No, I'm good, sir. Glad to hear that. Confidence is really important here. And don't bother with formality. You can call me Mr. Warden. Okay, now let's get back to business. Here's your duties for today. You can check them in your journal. It was the J button, if I recall. And read the, what has to be done. Mark it on your map where you should go first. And after each routine, if you have free time, you can rest a bit or check out the facility. Or just relax. We have a nice social room with coffee and stuff. When you're done with your duties, go to the briefing room and report your day. And that's all. Any questions? Uh, what happens if I get hurt really bad? In the second case, you'll end up in the infirmary, and if you get hurt, you can get some medicine there, or just eat a snack. You can find them in the vending machines. Something else? No, I'm good. Wait, where's the toilet? In the social room, of course. Any questions? And we get paid? Every day after your report. The better the job is done, the bigger the payment you get. Something else? But questions about raises will be ignored. Alright, great. Now let's go. Um... Go to the cell block. Don't look at me like that, rich.
Does this close by itself? It does. Okay. Hey, Justin Washington, my man, who I've met today just now. You can buy some food if you need eating restores your HP. Go to the vending machine and choose something. Pick what you'd like to have. Set the quantity and confirm. To take food in your hand, open the inventory. Drag the chosen food to the empty slot. You can then eat it by pressing the shortcut for that slot. I only have two pocket. What is this? This stuff has to cost money. It sure does. Okay. I think the cigarettes are 40 fucking dollars. I used to smoke, so I know they're expensive, but that's a little bit of an outlier. Yeah, I open both doors when I walk through. What's it to you, Flint? I already have 20 experience. What did I do? Your first task is to check the attendance, go to the duty office, which is to the left of the entrance, and use the lever to open up the cells. Choose a clicker, Q, and uh, go to each of the prisoners and count them with it. When a prisoner does not go to assembly, speak to him to find out why he's not cooperating. React when prisoners are not behaving properly. Use one of the tools of direct force. Choose a weapon from the selection wheel. Oh. Shotgun, grenade. I don't think I have those things though. They're like gray. Clicker. Anyway, let's get the clicker out. Wait, what? Here. We're good. In case of riot, do not lock in here. They are coming. Billy was here. All right. Orangiade? Orangeade? Oh, mama, you can arrest me. You handcuff me, Miss Officer. Oh, boy. All right. One. How's it going, Walter? Two. Event of a fight. If a prisoner does not stick to the rules, he should be punished. But first, you need to pacify him with a nightstick or taser. In some cases, a talk is enough, but usually not. Select the walkie-talkie, default cue, and go to the aggressive person. Use the walkie-talkie. Choose one of the available punishments. The prisoner will get a penalty marker over his head. They cannot be punished anymore today. If you choose solitary confinement as the punishment, talk to the officer. Talk to the prisoner after you finish your routine and take him to the marked solitary cell and lock the door. Corey Taylor. This is your primary tool of direct force. You can't kill with it, but you can pacify the problem prisoner. To attack. Uh, you can also protect yourself from blows. We're beating that old man up. Get up. Yeah, I'm talking to you with your low voice. Well, yeah, don't fight people. Oh, are you serious? Let's, uh, clicker him. I think we can. Alright, I've done Corey Taylor. Hey, Paul. What are you doing? Get up, it's time for morning roll call. You don't want to? You look like you don't want to. Got him. Robert Pretzel. Got him. Ricky Lewis. Hey, man. Why aren't you at roll call? You don't feel good? I believe you, actually. Yeah, I believe you. We'll count you in. You were getting your ass beat a few minutes ago. I don't give a fuck, I'm not going anywhere. Alright. 
Or what? Or I'll have to insist. Get in there. Go. Go to roll call. Don't get up. You got some contraband in here? Huh? Alright, fine, but I'm gonna search your ass. Alright. Well, now. Was that so hard, Ivan? Oh, gosh. But I'll see. This one's Johnson. I'm gonna check to make sure none of their names were the same. Alright. You're good. Wow, I thought you were supposed to be in the female prison. I guess not. What do you got a symbol above your head for? You wonder how mom's doing? Probably crying because her son's a piece of shit and in jail. Huh? Alright, what about you, Garcia? You're not going anywhere? Why? Hunger strike? What do you demand? Things to improve here, prison or not. Even the dump has better conditions than this. To clean up your mess. Tame them. Rats don't spread I HIV, but other convicts too. You're right though, I should probably let somebody know about the rats. Oh, nice tattoo. How many prisoners do I have? 16? Hey, Clark. And William Deckard. Alright, now it's free time. You can play mini games or do side quests. When you notice that someone has an exclamation mark above their head, that means he has a quest for you. By doing side quests, you can earn money and respect. Other icons like fists or clouds are connected to tasks which you have to complete. Beat somebody up, character with a fist icon, or talk to somebody, clouds icon, more on those in the tutorial. Tick icon above the prisoner's head means you've completed your task and you can get your payment. Check the map. See where you can find the mini games and side quests. You can skip your free time by interacting with one of the available benches in the hall. After a second, you will be able to start the next routine from the daily plan. Alright, let's do something, I guess. I don't know what. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, that's the bench. Uh, how do I get to that room? Oh, it's a shooting range, huh? Welcome to the shooting range. Here, I don't think that they have the shooting ranges in prisons. I could be wrong, but... Welcome to the shooting range. Here, you can relax by training your aim. Go to the selected stand to start. Everyone's stand has a different game mode. Choose one of the available weapons and shoot the targets according to the rules of the selected mode. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, targets appear in a random order. Destroy X targets to gain as many points as you can. Random order. Destroy as many targets as you can in X seconds to gain points. Uh, the targets appear in a fixed position. You have to destroy them as fast as possible. Yeah, let's go. We'll go with the riot gun to start off with. So aim by moving the mouse. Take a shot. Press or hold left mouse button. Press right mouse button to switch aiming mode. Alright, weapon reloads automatically. Alright, same for center of mass. Oh shoot. Oh, the number at the top is how many points I need to take down the target. What do I do? Well, I got a new record. Uh. Oh, okay, so free time's over. Did I get anything for that, actually? What did I get for that? Did I get experience, or did I already get that experience from earlier? Alright, so now we're at the parcel searching room. 
During this routine, you have to check the contents of the packages for illegal contraband. contraband. Go to the shelf and take a package. And then uh, put it on the table. Okay. So we pick one of these up. Place it here. You begin searching, open the lid of the box. Pick up an item from the box, inspect the item by rotating it. Open it and check inside. If you find something, check it. Check items so we put back in the parcel. If you do find contraband confiscated or or destruction by the prison or take it for yourself. Place checked passage, packages on the second shelf. Don't try and cheat by placing unchecked packages here. Oh, this is Corey Taylor's. When he's in prison, he's like, I did my time and I want out. Um, well, I guess we just start checking stuff, huh? Oh, what's that? What's that? That's a needle. We're going to go ahead and secure that. Okay, what do you got in here? Shift around a little bit. That's good, glizzy. I don't see anything in here. Albacore tuna, product of the Pacific Northwest. Oh, that's... Did I just close that can? What am I doing? Pills. Pills here! Um... Bamboo shower gel. Ew, that's nasty as fuck in there. Scalp purifying shampoo. Yeah, everything here is nasty. Anything else in the box? Alright. Uh, pick it up. Put it here. Next! I'm not taking shortcuts. As far as I know. Alright, I don't see anything weird in here. Nothing weird in here either. Stephanie Queen, the Blue Mile. Yeah, nobody's coming to prison with this book. That's definitely illegal. We're taking that off of you. Uh, this looks normal, I guess. For chicken tits. Stone peeling. Good. I guess somebody actually is bringing the blue mile. Weird. I guess that's everything out of that box. All right. Why don't we just run these through like metal detectors before I get them? Oh, that's definitely a no-no. Needle, we're taking that. You're good. That feels good. Hey, I see you. We have a lot of knitters in here. Well, I guess that's not knitting. You'd need like a crochet needle for that. Oh, that's crocheting. Ah, you'd need a knitting needle for that. We got a lot of uh, sewers in here. 
peak fashion designers. Is that everything? Sure is. Close this box up. And go to the next one. Oh, I got some experience. This is more free time. Let's go uh, work out. I, I work out. Wait, if we see a side quest, maybe we could do some of those. I don't see anybody with any side quests. This guy, I have to say. At the gym, you can improve your statistics as far as the purchased equipment allows. At the moment, you can increase your stamina by doing exercises on the bench. Go to the bench and interact with it. Hey, none of y'all better kill me. Press left and right on the arrow keys alternatively until the bar is full. Wait till the bar returns to its previous position and... Okay. This is just like, uh... The Escapist. Nobody better come and shank me. I'm a poor defenseless guard. Oh, I didn't even do that one. Come on, you can do it, you big beast, you. He's fast. Alright, plus 20 stamina. That seems like a pretty big number. 